Welcome to the Limo Anywhere System Rate Manager video. The System Rate Manager in Limo Anywhere contains all of the rates or line items that you will charge a customer on a reservation. So if I start a new reservation, you'll see here in the bottom right our rate table. This contains flat rate, per hour, standard gratuity. You also have your secondary tab which contains other rates as well. These are all maintained in System Rate Manager. So you'll see System Rate Manager in other parts of the system as well. You'll see it here on the reservation. You'll also see it in the settlement screen. You'll see it in the accounts. And you will see it in driver payroll. To get to System Rate Manager, just go to My Office, Rate Management, and the first thing that pops up is the System Rate Manager. Now there are three types of rates inside Limo Anywhere. You have Fixed Rate, which is just a flat rate. You have your Multiplier Rate. This rate is going to be an amount that you want to multiply by. So you'll see this mainly with per hour, per passenger, extra stops, and you have your percentage rate. This percentage rate is going to be uh, calculated based on other types of rates. You'll see this with standard gratuity or taxes. On the left hand side you'll have your stored rates. At the top here you'll have the search. So you can search by fixed rate, multiplier rate, percentage rate, or you can show all. By default, Limo Anywhere has rates already loaded in the system for you. You can go in here and you can edit a rate if you need to change the rate name. This is also where you'll set a default amount. You do not want to set everything with a default amount only if you are charging that particular rate on every reservation. So for instance, standard gratuity, I always charge a 20% default amount on every one of my reservations. However, for tolls, I'm gonna leave that default amount at zero because I am not going to charge that on every reservation. Now you may not use some of these rates or line items in your system. So what you can do, you can go in here, say I don't use per unit. You can edit it and make it inactive. And you'll see it turn red. That means that it's inactive. Black means that it's active. You can also highlight and click delete if needed. Now each rate you'll notice has its name and it also has a rate group. A rate group defines how other rates are going to calculate or interact with your rates. So for a fixed rate, a rate group can be a base rate, gratuity, miscellaneous, surcharge, or a discount. For a multiplier rate, it can be a base rate, gratuity, miscellaneous, surcharge, or discount as well. And then you have your percentage rates. These rate groups are a little bit different from the fixed and multiplier rates. If I select gratuities here, you'll see that this is a percentage of the base rate total. So that means that it's going to be a percentage of each rate that is in the base rate group. So flat rate, per hour, per pass, per mile, OT wait time, extra stops. You also have other rate groups. So you have surcharge one, which is a percentage of the base rates, gratuities, taxes, and miscellaneous. Or surcharge four, which is a percentage of base rates, gratuities, taxes, miscellaneous, surcharges one, two, and three, minus all discounts. So when setting up percentage rates, depending on how you want to calculate, you can choose one that's going to fit your needs. So let's say I want to add a new rate. 
you can click on add new rate determine what type you want to add for this example I'm just going to add a fixed rate and the miscellaneous I'm going to call this an airport fee I'm going to leave the default amount zero because I might not charge this on every reservation you can check mark that it's the primary rate which means it's going to be on the primary tab if unchecked it's going to be on the secondary tab of the rate table and you just click save once saved you will see that airport fee added you can also go down here to configure rate order so let's say I wanted the airport fee to in, be on the secondary tab I can just drag and drop and save that if I wanted uh, standard gratuity to be up here towards the top I could drag and drop and save that as well one thing that is extremely important about system rate manager is that any changes that you make in system rate manager are not retroactive meaning that they're not going to change on anything that's already created reservations driver payroll account rates it's only going to affect newly created reservations going forward so you will see that reservation that I created does not have that airport fee but if I did create a new reservation that airport fee is now there so it's very important you set up system rate manager how you would like and how you are going to charge your customers very first thing in limo anywhere so let me just give you an example of how it will calculate in the rate table I'm gonna put in a flat rate of hundred dollars you will see that the standard gratuity 20% is calculated off that base rate and also the state tax of 8.75 percent has calculated off of that base rate let's say I add a airport fee I'm going to add an airport fee of $10. So you will see that that standard gratuity has not changed, but the state tax has. That's because the standard gratuity percentage is only a percentage of the base rates. And my state tax is a percentage of the base rates, taxes, and miscellaneous. So that airport fee is a miscellaneous fee, so the state tax will calculate based on that. So based off of those calculations, that's going to give us our grand total. If you do have any questions about System Rate Manager, need any assistance setting it up, please reach out to support. We are more than happy to help you. Thank you.